like, hold yeah. on now, brother, I'm about to get in you now. See, that still was not as deep as Ronnie Hamilton's voice. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ronnie Hamilton, I don't know what you did to my boy, Wolf. Lou, I know you know some big girls. I know you know some big girl bullies. I know you know some big girls. <laughs> yes. You're in, from New in York. My school, in my school. In, in, in I got some rough girls in, in New York. In St. Anne Sounds, in the South Bronx of New York City, uh, we had we had uh, uh, Josie Perez. Josie Perez. <laughs> Josie Perez was about. Is she any kin to Rosie Perez? She was, no, no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Josie Perez was about eight foot five. And about six hundred and fifty-eight pounds. Six hundred and fifty-eight pounds. At, at so least she was starting at, on the right side. Oh yeah, that was Eight in the foot five. That, that was in the fifth grade. Uh, probably her legacy at Saint Anselm's uh, begins and ends with a with an epic battle. That so she, she was an Amazon McDonald's woman. M- man, she was. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> she was three Amazon McDonald's. With <laughs> she was uh, Sean Rogers with a wig. Yes, yes. You know, um, she was she was the Rock before the Rock existed. Oh, she no. was uh, Mark Henry <laughs> with a goatee. <laughs> so, but her, but 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 her her biggest moment, if if excuse the pun, uh, was <laughs> was it <laughs> was it? Well, that's my job. No, she was in the sixth grade. Uh, sixth grade. In the sixth grade, yes, yes. She, she, she reached the she reached the zenith of her of her legacy <laughs> when she when she battled Richie Cardoza oh in in, in in the schoolyard. At, I believe it was at lunchtime. Oh yeah, yeah. And Those every, are the best ones, man. That, man, it was that, it was an excellent fight. I mean, I think there were kids who were supposed to be back inside already that stayed outside <laughs> just to watch them just go at there. it. And I mean, there were like pieces of Richie Cardoza all over the <laughs> schoolyard, and she put them back together and and tore them apart all over again. It was it was hilarious, and and everybody everybody really enjoyed it because Richie Cardoza wasn't the you know he he he, he his legacy was uh, the eighth grade teachers knew of him when he was in the second grade, so the eighth grade <laughs> knew of him when he was in the second grade. Yeah, they were they, they were prepping for him. I'm jealous I didn't grow up in New York. You guys' stories I can't compare. <laughs> you don't want anything. And 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 on on a sidebar, Josie Perez was also famous in my family for trying to uh, for trying to break the mystery of Santa Claus. Uh, one what? day, one day we got into me and uh, I ran into her. There's a certain lines that shouldn't be crossed. We, we <laughs> oh Saint Nick. Me, my father and I ran into her it's on it's Avenue St. John, uh, and uh, she, uh, for some reason, the subject of Santa Claus came up, and uh, she started asking me, you know, you still believe in Santa Claus? I'm like, yeah, sure, Santa Claus is a cool guy, man. He comes over and says, yeah, man, he brings you gifts. You know, what's wrong with that? She's like, oh, Lou, come on, man. You ki- you- you're killing me. So at that point, my father came out, oh my God. and he's like, what are you going on here? <laughs> so, and so, you know, he got wind of what was going on, and uh, at that point, he, t- he, totally, he totally lost it. And he grabbed me by the arm, and he hauled me down the street. And I'm like, oh, wait a second, Pop. You know, she's trying to explain some about Santa Claus. And Josie was screaming down the street, don't believe it in Lou. <laughs> They're fooling you. They ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> My father was like, don't listen to her. And he started cursing in Spanish. Mm-hmm. But, uh, that, yeah, that's Josie Perez has a very, very large part in my background. In Did you my, date her? Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't have dated. Uh, I, I would have dated. Uh, uh, I would have dated Bigfoot. Before I would have dated hey, Josie man, Perez. Hey, man, tell you something, man. Don't sleep on the big girls. They are an, Oh, I love big they girls. They are a lost resource. I love big girls. So in my college years, I, they were my financial aid. <laughs> man, you spend the evening with a big girl. You're not leaving empty-handed. Mm. Really? And I'm not even talking about money. I'm talking about food. I'm talking about oh, they, food. they can cook. <sighs> and they're very grateful. They are very grateful. See, right. let me tell you something, fellas. If you're getting your feet wet, if you're young and you haven't had a lot of experience with women, try big girls. It's a whole nother level. Now, you're going to eventually transcend, but it's definitely a level you don't want to miss. 
you know, I'm, I'm a bigger fella, so for the longest I shied away from big girls, you know. But uh, college years, yeah, I went ahead and tried a few things, and I... I was very surprised. Mm. <laughs> it was a lot. Mm. I gotta be honest. It was a lot more enjoyable than I would have thought. Mm. They were a lot more. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Flexible. Flexible. Well, well really? Absolutely. But you want to restrict the girl on top motion. Oh no! You lay her off the side of the bed. You let the weight fall back on her. Yeah, you want to distribute yeah. it away because, from oh, because yeah. though you're in shape, brother. You don't want a, a thigh like that across you. Thighs. You're talking about crushed pelvis. Oh, okay. Mm. Now, 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 what exactly? I know the terms have changed. It used to be, you know, thick and voluptuous, things like that. What exactly is, I guess, big now? Big now, I'm talking about like 40 plus inch hips, over six foot. Cellulite? Let, let's say what Jennifer Hudson was before Weight Watchers. Oh, yeah, Effie. Hey, well, she was actually pretty. Yeah, That's no, what I'm no, saying. No, no, big we're girls not, are pretty. We're not saying big girls ain't pretty it's now. Some, it's some very pretty big That's girls that if they were girls. skinny, it would be a lot of skinny girls out of the game. They're, gotcha. they're hot, yeah. but they're just... The like, weight is the only thing holding them back. A lot of fellas just say they're thick. A lot of fellas just say, yeah. oh, they're thick. You know, but now we yeah, we're not saying the big girls ain't hot now. No, big girls, there's some are hot, they, hot like, big are girls. They still like, even though they're big, they still have like a, a semi figure that they're not like pear. Oh no, 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 no not necessarily. To, some of these girls just look like very, very hungry porn stars. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Like they have shape. Uh-huh. They have major shape. Major shape. Major just, booty. It's major just, uh, tatas. I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I'm, if if it was, if it's what I'm thinking, then mm-hmm. yeah, I like that a lot. Because yeah. you know, tall women, tall women. I w- yeah, tall I mean, women. I could actually visualize you with a, a a bigger woman and being in love and being into it because, like I said, grateful. Okay. You'll never get anybody more grateful. Can you hear him like this, Lou? Hey, Mr. Scott. Um, I can't make it to the podcast tonight. Me and Ronnie are going out. <laughs> he Alias. just caught on fire. <laughs> Alias Snaggletooth. He just caught on fire when I said that. I'm sorry. Maybe you should use a different name. <laughs> maybe that's why she took your goat. She might still have she, that coat. Yeah, she, she has it. She has no, I got the coat. Oh, you got it back. She, yeah, she got a, there was a black ink, ink stain on it. Ooh. So she gave it back to you? Maybe she's part octopus. She gave it back. You know what? I this story not, gets better and better. I would not put that away from you. <laughs> something like that is a cross between but, human and something. But else. I'll tell you what, it's it's kind of like Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> and all you remember, and all you, I'm sure remember Sarah. Sarah's our star on this show. Okay, you, you it, the more you push them away, the more they come at you. And I know for a fact right now <sighs> that Ronnie had the hot. For some wolf. Oh, no, wolf she, she did. She did. It was admitted by by her posse. Now imagine, ah. if you, imagine if you just took charge, grabbed her, and kissed her right in the mouth. You yeah. probably had a whole different experience. Yeah, Even man. if I tried, I was too short. Uh, <laughs> you already told us you were athletic. They had step ladders in those days. He was huge. He's like six foot. And back then, you said you were three hundred pounds. You could have climbed up. Yeah. Grab one of those shoulder blades and just swing. Grab none of them hips. Of her face began because her skin was basically the same exact color of her hair, not including the psoriasis, of course. The only way you can tell is because her eye, the one that moved. A moving eye. So she one moved. A, she had a rotating eye. Yeah. I know somebody like on. that. He comes to our, our, our store regularly, and he's a very popular singer. <laughs> And I just want to let everybody know that his eye is way worse in person. Mm. Way worse. Mm. <laughs> worse than Stuart Scott. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Yep. Uh, that's an ESPN in all, analyst. In all of it, <laughs> right. <laughs> Lou, if you don't know, Lou is an unpaid ESPN analyst. He's been doing it for years. <laughs> any, any team in New York, I challenge anybody, I challenge anybody <laughs> to give Lou a trivia question about a New York team. I challenge you. This man has shut me down with the Detroit Lions. I'm a Falcons and a Lions fan as far as football. You know, Lou has shut me down so many times with easy questions. He said, hey, you're, hey, hey, you're a Falcons fan? Who did draft first round 1981? 
Right. That's the same way I felt. <laughs> and the bad thing about it is he knows the correct answer. So I challenge any of you out there to think you're smart. When we post this, put a comment and ask Lou a question. And we'll, we'll bring it up on air. I guarantee you, no research, Lou will know the answer. Now, is it like any question at all? Any question pertaining to sports. Who scored the most points in NBA history per game? Wait, per game? game? In one game. In one game is Will Chamberlain. He had 100 points. Damn it. In Didn't even take a breath. I, I, I see. I, I thought. Didn't even take a breath. He looked at you like a child. In, in, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. In fact, we just That's had the wild. 50th anniversary. <laughs> the 50th anniversary just passed. It was at Hershey, Pennsylvania. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Why wasn't it recognized? Oh, it was recognized. You I mean, just you just didn't see it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Even an article, it said it wasn't, it's not held up as high as it should have been. Because it wasn't televised. There is no video evidence of it. Wow. I just learned something. I didn't know that. Uh, I also read that, basically they were saying at the time the players weren't, he was, I guess, at the time... A phenomenon, I guess. Yes. Like, com- compared to everybody, it was else. a and freak of nature. And yeah. they're basically just saying, one, there's one good person, and everybody else completely sucks. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Lou just did that off the top of the head. Let me paint you a picture. We're recording here. We're like the Temptations. You know what I mean? Pro Tools only allows us one mic. F you, Pro Tools MP. <laughs> We're gonna upgrade real soon. <laughs> but uh, real soon. We on one mic. Uh, there's a set of keys, some uh, baseball glasses. Uh, uh, 75% drinking Deer Park bottle. Totally unsolicited. Uh, a few, a few cell phones from various <laughs> companies. A uh, Georgia Force buy one get one free ticket. I'm gonna use that. Okay. The games are like eight bucks. I gotta go. And uh, Lou doesn't have anything in front of him. He doesn't have any paperwork. He doesn't have any notes. We are really truth be told. Pod.com. We go off the top. This is what we feel. It was. Almost a blessing in disguise that the computer shut off and our first take was erased. Because, to be honest, our first show was picking up a bit slow. We were getting it there, but this show, (laughs) this show, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we do because this is therapy. I love talking to you. I love being in front of you. We love being being on top of you. Ah, Absolutely. (laughs) As long as you're a woman. Well, As long as you were born a woman. Yes. Let me state that. And you're warm and breathing. As long as your legs are soft. Nothing is worse than laying up against a woman with rough skin. But we digress. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's bad, man. Have you ever laid next to a woman with rough skin? No. It's like laying with an alligator. Really? <laughs> it, take, it takes away the whole feminine appeal, I promise you. Well, if you don't get it, I've tried a lot of things. Okay. And there's a reason I know what I like, because I've experimented. You have to you 